December, President Obama gave his end of the year speech and he was talking about how 2014 was going to be a breakthrough year for America. I was like, oh, breakthrough, perfect. And I was like, well, how many times do I use, I mean, all, the, the entire studio is based on breakthroughs. And everybody knows what a breakthrough is, really, because you have them, whether you're conscious of it or not. But then I thought, well, even though the work is based on that, I thought, well, maybe we should just break it down a little bit so we understand maybe the physics or the mechanics of it. So that's what this year is going to be about. Breakthroughs for everybody. A breakthrough year. And I thought, well... One of the things that came to me the other day about a breakthrough is I was driving, it was actually on Monday night when I was giving the lesson, and I thought, you know the number one thing you need to do to have breakthroughs in your life, it's just very simple, is you have to stay open. <laughs> and it's really hard. And you know, an auditor on Tuesday night said, well, what, what are the, because staying open creates openings. So there you have it already. If you're open, by being open, the natural be the natural state of being open creates its own openings. That is, i.e., breakthroughs. But it is very hard to maintain op staying open in life because life has a way of throwing you curveballs that want to shut you down. And so, an auditor on Tuesday night asked me, "She's like, well, what do you mean by staying open?" And I said, "Well, think about it. When we get cynical, when we get stuck, when we think in limitations, when we get sarcastic, when we..." deal in, in closed systems, when we're negative, when our response to something is based in fear, that's not open. And it is a really a day-to-day, moment-to-moment awareness of that response is a shutdown, that response is closed, that response doesn't give me access to staying open. So there's nothing Pollyanna about it. Being open, I think, is like a warrior's journey. It is so hard because it's so easy to get triggered in. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? Or, that sucks. Or, you know, getting bitter, jaded. That quality, and I get it because we live in a world that's based on rejections. And ultimately, oftentimes, the more you get rejected personally, professionally, I don't know why I'm laughing about that, personally, <laughs> professionally, whatever it is, it's easy to just do this. Right? <clears throat> so, part of accessing a breakthrough is just by staying open. So, we're going to try that. But then the other thing I thought about breakthroughs that is really interesting to me is I think we feel like breakthroughs occur because in our culture things seem it's, things are always so hype. So we think breakthroughs occur like they're exciting and they're huge and they're bombastic and it's like bang and they're loud and they're romantic and and actually those things occur. But I don't call those breakthroughs the the quantum leaps that that are big in that way. Actually, I call those miracles. <laughs> those are miracles and they do occur. But I'm not going to talk about that today. There, I'm just talking about breakthroughs that occur actually just by the day to day minutia of showing up because they actually happen more silently and personally, they're more quiet, and they actually just are between you and you. It's, it's like a new aha. And I thought, you know, I was talking to Emily, you know Emily, who heads up the New York studio on Monday because they were starting classes again. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but she said, it's so interesting. We were talking about how I think Entertainment Weekly or Variety last year, the end of the year, said, said 2014 was going to be the was going to be the year of Shailene Woodley. And I thought, well, that's so interesting because, you know, Shailene studies here. But like, I think the interesting thing about that is, OK, for people who don't know who Shailene was or is or are about to, the idea is that she's broken through in this big, dramatic Hollywood coming from nowhere place. Ah! You see, that's the illusion. That's not true, because actually Shailene has been in the business since she was like four. And so how does she get there? You break through just by step, by step, by step. So then when I tell people that, I think you get a little panicky because you're like, I didn't start acting when I was four. <laughs> I'm doomed. No, you're not doomed. You only break through from where you are. So you can only start from where you are. So breakthroughs occur on your own journey and your own journey can't be compared to somebody else's. So I think it's important to remember that anybody on their path doesn't suddenly just pop into whatever that thing is. It takes time. So I just want to say a couple things about this and then we're done. We're going to do a little, little thing out loud to, to understand how to access a breakthrough. You know, I think breakthroughs occur at one level or three levels. One is what I just mentioned about um, 
uh, they occur just in thought. You have them on a daily basis. You have a new idea, a new aha, a paradigm shift. That's a breakthrough in thinking. And then the second part is when you have an idea about something, then how do you put that into the planning phase? And that's important because the planning part is actually the bridge that takes you to the third part of a breakthrough, which is action. Because it's not enough to have a really great idea. It's not enough to have an aha. I could have had an idea, you know, 15 years ago to create a studio, but it wouldn't be here had I not taken the planning phase into action. So one must then be out in the world with it. And so the two things we want to do here right now is always remember is about being open. And the second thing is the mathematics of it. So I'm going to give you three different categories of, how, of or topics, rather, of that I think people like to create breakthroughs in. And we're going to, you're going to see how easy it is. So it's not resolutions, because actually scientifically resolutions have been proven not to work because people give up on them. So if we think about break, breakthroughs occurring in smaller uh, minutia, then you will ultimately arrive at a goal. So, okay, let's say health, because I just, you know, I go to the gym, and it's the new year, and it's packed with all these people. I'm like, who are you people? <laughs> so, right, it's the new year, and everybody's there. It's a resolution. None of them are going to stay. They don't last. So, let's say one of your New Year's resolutions, you want to create a breakthrough for yourself in health, or fitness, or well-being. So, what are examples of it? How do you create a breakthrough? Just shout out whatever comes to mind. Because, you see, actually, this is how a breakthrough occurs. Because it will come to you from somebody else often in a way that you didn't think could create a breakthrough. Come on. I know it's 11 a.m. Lifestyle change. Huh? Well, you got to be specific. Diet. Make Diet. Eat more Diet. Food. Eating better. Gluten free. Get out of bed. See, that's amazing. <laughs> Just getting out of bed will create the breakthrough. Somebody the other day said, stop drinking. You see, that's amazing. Never. You, what? Never. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. How about dating? For all you singles out here, <laughs> Sherry laughs even though she's married. Ask somebody out. Ask somebody out. What else? Raise your standards. Raise your standards. Good. <laughs> lower your standards. Or lower your standards. Exactly. Maybe you need to get on dating websites or web uh, apps. Or maybe you need to get off them. I don't know which way it works. Hire a coach. Hire a coach. Yes, you see? Okay, so the point, you guys, about this is all you have to do is pick one. And that's the challenge, is you get overwhelmed with the minutia of, of, of possibilities. You just have to pick one. And picking one and staying open to it then creates other openings. Then you have a breakthrough. Okay, last one. Career. Oh, silence. <laughs> get out of bed. <laughs> yes, get out of bed. Lower your standards. <laughs> Lower your standards, indeed. <laughs> Create a project. Create a project. Create more time. Create more time. Stop judging. Uh, stop judging. Make Good. A call. What? Make a call. Make a call, yes, this is what we talked about last night. Pick up that phone. Ask for help. Sleep oh, this is good. I'm going to lecture about that next week. Damn you, Robert. <laughs> but yeah, that's totally it. Stop drinking. <laughs> yes, you're puffy. You look puffy from the camera. Yes. You guys, this is all you got to do. They're not resolutions. They're moving forward in the direction of creating a breakthrough. You choose one. That's it. I just want to say one last thing and then we'll go read. Is you guys, I think the, the most important thing to remember, and I'm really committed, my intention for everybody is to have breakthroughs this year. I mean, you have, you have them all the time anyway, but even be, being more conscious of that for all of us in all areas of your life, not just acting. <coughs> and I think the thing is, is you're going to have them, but you won't have them if you take yourself out of the equation. Because if you take yourself out of the equation, what happens? It's like a black hole, the equation collapses. It's you are part of the equation, so you got to stay in it. If you if you step out of it, it does collapse. So just stay in the equation. Just stay in it. That's how you create a breakthrough.